Audio Jungle. Good afternoon and welcome to the NIPS Tech News. Today is the 30th anniversary of the Father Murphy Bates Catholic Secondary School. We sent reporters out to interview teachers, so let's go out to see who our interviewers have met up with. This will be my, I believe, 12th year at Father Michael Gates. Oh, okay. So what's your favorite thing about it? Like all your 12 years here? Uh, well, the student population is fabulous, and the teacher population is fabulous, and the admin is great too. So, uh, you know, it's all the people I get to work with on a daily basis. Yeah. Do you think what are the biggest, I mean, what are the changes that you've seen, like, throughout the 12 years, if there's anything? Hmm. I guess I would have to say, I think the students, um, the students, I think students are generally, it's, uh, they're nicer and nicer to teach as the years go by. Oh, okay. And what's the most memorable moment for your whole time here? My most memorable moment is... Hmm. You know, I can't really pick one out. I really, really enjoy coming to school and teaching every single day and every time a kid gets it, it's another great moment. Okay, so how long have you worked at this school? In this school or at the friend school? In this school. And this is almost like 10 years? 10 years? Okay. What's your favorite thing about this school? Uh, the great thing is, you know, cleaning, that's my job. Yeah. To give you more and more, you know, service to the school and to serve you better, guys. So what's the, um, the biggest changes you've seen like throughout your 10 years working here? Is there anything that's changed? What's it that? Like, do you see any changes in the students or the teachers like for, from 10 years ago to now? Um, a little bit, you know, uh, before because they do not know me yet. Uh, yeah. They are a little bit like... Uh, <laughs> what is nicer. Yeah. Now they're yeah. more better because they know me yeah. and they're very nice now. Okay. It's nowadays are nice. Okay, and do you have uh, like a favorite moment that you had at the school? Anything that you remember? Yes, yes, especially when I'm working at the job. Yeah. You guys, you know, talking to me, you yeah. know, throwing the garbage in the garbage can, yeah. you know. So how long have you worked at the school? I've worked at this school since the year 1999. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about it? Um, I like the kind of students we have and the community that they come from and the diversity of students and the fact that we're not a secular school so we can worship and talk about God. So what are the biggest changes you've seen ever since you started working here? The one big change is the declining enrollment because we used to have a lot of portables so there was a lot bigger population, student population, um, and we used to even have portables. Then we built the East Wing but there were hardly enough classrooms and now there's a lot of empty classrooms each period. Oh, okay. So what's the most memorable moment you've had at the school? I think the most memorable moment is going to happen tomorrow when we all go outdoors and we're going to use a drone, I think, to take a picture. Yeah. And the students are going to be making a message with the, the their uniforms. Oh, okay. Yeah, an aerial message. Okay. So that'll be a lot of fun. How long have you worked at the school? Well, I came from elementary uh, about 12 years ago, so I've been at this my 12th year at Fontaine Gates. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about this school? Well, there's a lot of great things, but I think that it's, um, to be honest, it's 12 years of you guys. Okay, it's 12 years of students, and not just me teaching them, but I think me, them teaching me as well. It's incredible how much I learn. Yeah. So, what are the biggest changes you've seen, like in your 12 years? Well, there's always changes in, in all kinds of things. Um, I think technology has come a long way yeah. uh, in the last 12 years since I've been there, you know, with things like smart boards and all that kind of thing. Yeah. And I think that um, it's working to improve your education and get you ready more ready for the outside world. Okay. And what's the most memorable moment you had at school? Like something you won't forget? You know what? It could be this morning. Okay. <laughs> I took my four guys, my English course, and we uh, met the mayor this morning. Oh, okay. And uh, but the most memorable 
there's good and there's bad. You know, we, of course, we remember the ones we've lost. You know, um, last year we lost, and uh, certainly we have over the years. But I think we've also gained a lot in family and friends and, uh, and teachers who have new, new arrivals for their families and things like that. Okay, so how long have you worked at the school? 29 years. Oh, okay. So what's your favorite thing about it? The students. Uh, I mean, my colleagues are great, but uh, Gates is a good school and it's mostly because of the students. I mean, they're not the best looking and uh, <laughs> not the brightest, but Gates students are pretty nice people, so it's pleasant yeah. to work with them. So what are the biggest changes you've seen throughout your 29 years? Well, the school's a lot browner than it was. Okay. When I first got here, there would be, every class would have about four Portuguese people, about four Italians, three or four Polish, but now the ethnicities have changed. I mean, we always had tons of Filipinos, which is a good thing, mm -hmm. but now we have more students who are uh, Middle Eastern and Arab and Syrian, and we have uh, more people who are originally from India, yeah. places around there, so it's a, a different looking school. Yeah, so what's the most memorable moment you have at the school? Uh, the most memorable moment, uh, unfortunately, it's not a, a pleasant one. It was last year when Mr. Zablocki passed away. Uh, he was my student many years ago. Oh. Father Michael Gates School is a Catholic school located in Mississauga, Ontario, founded by Ed King, established in 1987. The school has one of the highest populations of English as a second language students in the school district with a school population of over 2,600 students for the 1990 to 1991 school year. Oh, Mr. Pastor Shaw. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pastor Shaw. Yeah. Uh, Cooking yeah. teacher, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know his name. Is he some math teacher? Yeah. 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 I don't know his name. No, but I know he's a math teacher. Oh, Miss, uh, Miss, oh, no, not Lawson. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that will be Chef Pete. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Pastor Chef. Mr. Uh, Mr. Pastor Chef. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I know who it is. I'm trying to remember. Starts with the P. What? Starts with the P. Pastor Chef, Chef, Chef. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh, man. <laughs> a science teacher, no? Or a math teacher? Math, math. Math teacher. I didn't uh, Mr. Wolf? Oh, Gugosh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gugosh, next. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Tom, 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 no. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be Mr. Glugosh. Glugosh? Yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? No, can you redo it? Oh no, sir, I like you. I want to pass your class. <laughs> Mr. Glugosh. Mr. Glugosh. Mr. Glugosh. <laughs> what? Um, Glugosh. <sighs> I know he's good looking. <laughs> Is it the new principal? Uh, Adam. 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 <laughs> Mr. Adamson. <laughs> Mr. Adamson. <laughs> Mr. Adamson. <laughs> Mr. Adamson. <laughs> the most. Oh, that will be Mr. Bird. Oh. What's his name? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> uh, we have Bird. Um, Mr. Bird. He has tattoos? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Garvey. Um, yeah, Mr. Bird has a lot. Yeah, we put both. Mr. Garvey. Most tattoos, Mr. Bird? Mr. I don't know, Bird? Or is it Mr. Um, 
I can't I think of his face. Garvey. Mr. Bird, probably. Gar Bird. Oh, uh, yeah, I know this. I know this. He has it a lot on his arms. Well, it, it, is this guy? He's bald. Uh, he has like um. He's kind of old. I forgot his name. <laughs> He, he has like a lot of tattoos on his arms. You don't know the name? Do you know what courses uh, he teach? Oh, uh, he, 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 he was a supply for our gym. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, the ball guy. Do you remember how much uh, tattoos he had on his arms? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, save it. Oh, what? Kingdom. What? Like it's a little catchphrase he has. That's too cute. I don't know. Okay, Mr. Osavi. <laughs> Mr. Osavi, 100%. Oh, this is only Kindle? It's like a little catchphrase. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that one. Mr. Power Osavi. Mr. Osavi. Oh, that's Mr. Osavi. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Aldenade and um, Ms. Diamond. Yeah. Mr. Campesi and Mr. Sisters. <laughs> Mr. Campesi and Mr. What's the other guy's name? Dinapio. <laughs> They're literally like, they look the same. <laughs> um, Aldenade and Diamond. I'll pass. pass, pass. <laughs> oh. Mrs. Miss. Miss Diamond and Miss Miss uh, Miss Diamond and Miss What's her name? I can't remember the other one. Uh, Miss Seller, Miss Gar, Mr. Gar. Oh, Miss Seller and Mr. Gar. Oh, yeah. Look like sisters. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Miss Diamond and I don't know that. Aldenate. Oh, oh, that's Miss Aldenate. Aldenate and um, no, that's not. That, that's actually right. Oh. Okay.